Hello and welcome to the Catch of the Day in the VDMA TV Pavilion at K2016. We want to show you how Industry 4.0 is working for you and therefore we are having a closer look at the plastics products that were produced with Industry 4.0 technologies. I'm Ina Fettkötter and my guests today are Benedikt Brenken and Ralf Pampus from Reifenhäuser. Hello, Mr. Pampus, Hello. nice to have you here. Mr. Brenken, Thank very you. nice to have you here. Um, so what have you brought us? What is your catch of the day? Could you tell us something about that? Yes, we, we brought um, the dual compartment pouch oh, today. Uh -huh. It looks very interesting. So yeah. what is it good for? It's um, First of all, the concept is you have um, two uh, things inside. You have water and you have a milk yeah. powder. Okay. Uh, so you have separated by, a, um, by the film. Yeah. It's used um, in regions where the food supply is not good. It could uh -huh. be Africa, for uh -huh. example. Yeah, yeah. Or other application fields are or other fields are military or mine workers. Mm -hmm. So the concept is you have um, isolated uh, products, and what you can do is um, you can squeeze it, you can shake yeah, it, you can yeah, drink yeah. it. You have all vitamins, all minerals yeah. that you need a day. Okay. You can supply. And yeah. the good thing is yeah. you have very safe water, so the no medical issues or any um, problems with the water. And in these regions, it really helps. I think it's, it's a very useful product. Um, are there um, different uh, forms of application, uh, for example, in the medical sector? First of all, we have an 11-layer product, so there are a very high barrier inside. Mm -hmm. So there's no low barrier, so we have 11 layers. So there is a good barrier inside, nothing can go in, no oxygen can go in, so the shelf life mm -hmm. is very long. Uh, yeah, the, but the main application fields, as I said, is um, in any regions where the food supply is yeah. limited. At first glance, it's, a, um, it's just a film, but uh, it's a very sophisticated film uh, yes. and very smart film. Yes. So that's uh, very interesting. But what has it got to do with Industry 4.0? Industry 4.0, when we talk about Industry yeah. 4.0, yeah. we uh, would like to show what are we talking about. And when we talk about Industry 4.0, we talk about our vision. Mm -hmm. our vision of the intelligent production. Mm -hmm. You know, just imagine a machine sets himself with all, all relevant parameters if you just enter the quality criteria mm -hmm. you want to achieve and embed it in an intelligent uh, production surrounding. Um, it also knows the best time for production. So, and this is our vision when we talk about Industry 4.0 because Industry 4.0 is our way to realize this vision. Mm -hmm. And to achieve this, we at Reifenhäuser, we developed the Reifenhäuser Digital Business Platform, yeah, which is okay. our solution yeah. for our way to this intelligent production. So it's, uh, um, in a way, the idea behind uh, your uh, individual approach to uh, Industry 4.0. Exactly. Yeah. And it's about um, does it help uh, your customers to, to implement Industry 4.0 technologies um, in their own plants? Yeah, it makes us industry 4.0 elephant eatable it's um, we have a modular concept and would uh, like to show you um, referring to this product yeah. where is the benefit for our customer okay so for example if we take the one major step is the uh, new operation system we developed mm -hmm. which is on the one hand a new new interface new human machine interface mm -hmm. which is very intuitive which is fast in operation which is context sensitive so the operator just gets the information needed yeah um, so does it uh, make the operation easier in a way yeah, yeah. it totally yeah, it, yeah. it uh -huh. guides the operator through the whole process yeah. we it's it's based on the uh, process flow mm -hmm. um, of the production process And so it's very easy to train operators to adapt because we know that our customers, operators are dealing with different machines. So, and it, therefore it's very important that it's very easy to adapt the system and to be very fast um, in, in the real operating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds very interesting and uh, makes production processes easier in a way. Exactly, yeah. okay. it really does. Yeah. And it's also a technological change. We're mm -hmm. using web technology. We are talking about new uh, database, new data storage mm -hmm. that is then prepared for the future. And we talk about this topic, big data analysis. Mm -hmm. If you mention uh, big data analysis, I think uh, this is something where the operators uh, need a lot of support, I think, because you have a lot of data and you have to select the, yeah, really the ones you need. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And this is, this is the way where we say this operation system is so important because mm -hmm. also in future the operator, um, we, we need to focus on the operator, we need to focus on the people because everybody's yeah. talking about Industry 4.0 is focusing on technology yeah. but we can't uh, forget the people about it. Yeah. And therefore we can mm -hmm. 
Ralph can explain some examples what is so important and what is so good by producing this product. Yes, yeah. Yeah, coming coming back to yeah. the dual compartment pouch yeah. and yeah. Um, also to the operational center. Producing um, a product like this with 11 layers um, it's very important um, to handle this barrier resin, so EVOH mm -hmm. or PA, very sensitive. Sensitive means temperatures during the extrusion process have to be monitored because mm -hmm. if they are getting too high, you're not getting the right uh, properties. Yeah, I see. So with the operational center, with this new operational center, our operators or the operators of our customers have all important data with one, one view at a glance. Ah, okay. So and you can influence uh, the data, for example, um, the height of the temperature, or yes. things like that? Yes. Okay. So if there is a temperature, it's a yeah. traffic light system. Yeah. Everybody knows mm -hmm. traffic light from mm -hmm. the daily driving. Uh, if there is one temperature not correct or too high, too low, mm -hmm. too high is most the case difficult, yeah. um, he gets an alarm. Okay. And he knows mm -hmm. I have to look on this extruder. Yeah. But this is only one thing. An additional thing is, um, when you have a barrier product, mm -hmm. the barrier or the thickness of the barrier layer has always be have to have a certain amount of uh, micrometers. Also, therefore, we watching always the thickness of this barrier mm -hmm. layers. Mm -hmm. Also, mm -hmm. there an easy traffic light system where the op operator directly can see if there is any deviation which is not yeah. cor correct. And with this operational center, it's very easy. And with one one view, everybody can see the necessary data. Mm -hmm. So it contributes a lot to efficiency, production efficiency. Yes. Yeah, less scrap, uh, you need uh, less time and uh, in the end uh, less money to produce. Yes, um, yeah. if, if you talk about uh, less scrap or, or yeah. saving money, yeah. um, we, we go back one stage before this product. Producing this product, we need a special tool, a special die head. Mm -hmm. And just at this case show, we launch a new die head called Ultra Die. And uh, the benefit of this die, is mm -hmm. die head is we have up to 70% shorter mail channels. Shorter mail channels mm -hmm. means faster purging times, yeah, faster yeah. change over times, saving money, saving expensive uh, barrier resin. This mm -hmm. die head we do not uh, develop from, from scratch. We use uh, tools of di digitalization, for example, simulation tools mm -hmm. to give us the right uh, melt flow structure. Therefore, also we use Industry 4.0. So this is on not only a step for our customers, Industry 4.0, also internally, Industry 4.0, since the last years, is a major mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. efficient driver. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, but um, uh, is it possible to implement those Industry 4.0 um, elements into um, existing plants, or do you uh, have to mm, make a concept for for a completely new plant? No, you don't have yeah. to make a concept for a completely new plant. Mm -hmm. um, this is a way where we have this modular concept. Yeah. Um, of course, um, with our new system, we, we provide a new technology, but we are aware that we also need solutions for the, for the uh, installed base we are talking about. So um, we just heard about the operating. Another point is where we always focus on is, is on productivity, is on flexibility, so it's, it's on quality. Mm -hmm. These are the main, main criteria. Mm -hmm. And um, we, for example, have this module, the performance cockpit, where you can visualize and you can analyze the performance of your machine, but not only of one machine, which can be mm -hmm. interesting, of course, but also of a whole machine park. So the typical benchmark, how is my performance on this machine? Mm -hmm. How is um, energy consumption? Um, how is the output? Uh, how is the, the ratio regarding good production yeah. scrap? Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. this analysis can be done by uh, new tools, all uh, web-based, open standard, open platform, where you can also integrate these old, um, old installed base. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very interesting. So I think it's a very comprehensive approach you are following here. Exactly. So that yeah, was, that yeah. was our, our idea that we yeah. wanted to, to, to give our customer, to show them that we have, first of all, that we have the vision, that we have a strategy, but also uh, give them the opportunity to, to take part in this development mm -hmm. um, very individually to their needs. Yeah. And that's the yeah. reason why we have this, this mm -hmm. modular, modular concept. So um, we can um, offer tailored solution to mm -hmm. our customers. Yeah, with higher benefit uh, for the individual customer. Exactly. Yeah. That is yeah. that's the main reason. Mm -hmm. That's why we call it the digital business platform because it's about yeah. digitalization. It's about mm -hmm. the business of our customer and platform because it's the technological approach and this uh, modular approach. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. I think that was really very very uh, interesting to uh, yeah to learn how industry 4.0 really works. And um, uh, I could imagine that everyone who wants to know more can visit you here uh, at your booth at K2016. Exactly. Yeah. We are Hall 17, C22nd. Okay. Very good. So nice to have you here. 
And Thank you very much. Um, yeah, hope to see you soon again. Yeah. Bye. That was our catch of the day. If you like, you can join us again tomorrow here in the VDMA TV Pavilion at K2016.